Italy is the long boot with a set of mountains running down the middle, known as the Apennines. Today we are going to take you to Cadotto, Italy, the scene of a bitter battle during World War II that resulted in the death of the commander of one of the most notorious Italian partisan brigades. The closest city where this action took place is Bologna, a strategic city where all transportation going up and down the boot must pass through. It was a key city for the Allies to take. Despite Allied advances, by the end of 1944, Bologna was firmly in the control of the Nazis and fascists. The Allies were moving up the boot at a slow and deadly pace. The Italian resistance worked behind enemy lines to disrupt Nazi communications and resupply with the help of the local civilians. The Germans set up defensive lines called the Gothic Line, the last line, was right here where we are right now, looking over this mountain called Monte Sole. The Allies were about 10 kilometers away and the resistance expected the Allies to come knocking at any moment. Instead, the SS did on the 29th of September, 1944, at about 6 a.m. Their mission was to clear Monte Sole of all guerrillas and the inhabitants in order to erect the last defensive bastion in the Gothic line. Hitler's dug-in defenses, the last line for Bologna. We're going to Cadotto, which you see on the bottom right of your screen. It's four houses. The Wolf was the commander of the anti-Nazi partisan brigade known as the Red Star Brigade and was made up of Italians who resisted Nazi and fascist domination of Northern Italy. The Red Star Brigade was active in the mountains south of Bologna that you see right here in the area, in the rear area of the Nazi front lines. They disrupted Nazi supplies and communications, but were annihilated by the SS starting on the 29th of September 1944 in a sweep that came right across these houses here from the valley on the right. This resulted in the death of the wolf, or known or Mario Casalesi, the head of the Italian Partisan Brigade. These houses were taken in bloody hand-to-hand -hand combat that lasted about two days. <laughs> As soon as the first shots were fired, all the partisans opened up on the Nazis with everything they had. The battle was tough and fighting took place on house, one house at a time over two days. The wolf was shot as he tried to escape the back of this house, and his body was found one year later in the bushes. All the houses were destroyed and are now rebuilt. One can only imagine what happened here. Even today, what happened here is a sensitive subject in Italy and lost loved ones and the bitterness of a conflict that raged at home is a memory that is remembered every year.